All right. It is that time, time for Matt's weather word. You've uh, been waiting he, for this. You know, he poked the bear last week. Uh, uh, he taunted <laughs> me. He said, your weather words are so easy, Jay. Let's step up the game a little bit. And that, with that accurate. in mind, yeah. okay. let's go with ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. Yeah. Oh, easy. Uh, wow. Yeah, watch this. You're not even going to ask me to use that in a sentence? I was going to say, can you use it in a sentence, please? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I've the heard meaning is widespread and everywhere. Okay. Okay, so the Got meaning it. would be... Tonight in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. there will be terrible, t you, you, t terrible tiles, tiles will be ubiquitous. Got it. Okay. Perfect. Right. Okay. What, herpetologist wasn't enough for you last week? Uh, That's true. Uh, yeah. Lita, that one did not make the cut last oh, week. Okay. okay. Yeah. I remember you pitched that to the bosses. They said, you know, it's too close to some other words. So there's that. Okay, uh, your evening out. Happy Monday, everybody. We're in the 60s right now. We've got partly cloudy skies. It's not a bad evening out if you're planning on uh, soaking in this fall-like air that we've had. My goodness, what a wonderful time of year in Northeast Ohio. We're in the 60s area-wide right now. Notice more clouds in spots, and that's all courtesy of the lake. We've got cool air coming across the lake, and we have had some hit or miss showers of the lake effect variety throughout the day. You notice the darkening skies, you get some rain and then it's out of there. A lot of us haven't seen rain, but the latest radar trend here, we've got another little band of some lake effect rain that's pushed into areas of Ashtabula right over Route 20, now over the I-90 corridor. This will get into Jefferson, Austinburg, Geneva on the lake getting some showers right now. Back into North Madison, Perry, Painesville going to get some rain here shortly. All this heading down to the south. It'll last probably 15 minutes worth of rain, then it's out of here. But there's more of that to come. You notice the flow out of the northwest. That continues to bring in that cooler air across the lakes. We've got low pressure out towards our east. High pressure, which will really take up shop over the next couple days out towards our west. That squeeze plays on, and it's bringing the cool fall-like conditions across the Great Lakes and areas of the northeast. So overnight tonight, continued cool. Temperatures back into the 50s. We'll likely see upper 40s in spots. Most of us stay dry. The lake effect should kind of tame down a little bit as we lose that daytime heating, but still can't rule out a couple showers hours out there as well. Browns Pittsburgh around 62 degrees that kick off. We'll have partly cloudy skies. We're not expecting any weather problems whatsoever down there and hopefully no problems on the field either for the Browns. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Notice how lake effect kind of dies out tonight. Tomorrow morning all indication is we get a little convergence out over the lake that would kick off more lake effect showers. Much like the last couple mornings, likely forming over Lorraine County and areas out towards the west. Those could spread east, so don't be surprised if you see more of the same tomorrow morning with the clouds, couple showers around. Otherwise, if you're not in lake effect areas down to the south, you'll have mainly clear skies, lots of sunshine tomorrow. It is another cool day, very similar to today. We'll have sunshine mixed with clouds in the afternoon. High temperatures up into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Just a delightful day. Where do we go from there? Well, the cooler air across the eastern half of the country starts to vacate. We're going to bring a nice ridge in here for the rest of the week. We've been highlighting this over the last five or six days or so, looking at some warmer temperatures around here. Doesn't look to last that long. We'll get some kind of system out towards the west for the weekend, but we have a nice fall like week out ahead of us. And you look at temperatures, they respond nicely as well. Upper 70s to near 80 degrees as we get in the latter half of the week. Our average high continues to slip about a degree, degree and a half every single week. It's down to 75 degrees. And in terms of the humidity, it is non existent as we go throughout the week. That is the beautiful thing about this time of year. All right, let's look ahead. Big picture pattern across the country. This system exits a little bit of lingering rain around here Tuesday, Wednesday out towards the west. But as we look down towards Florida and the Gulf Coast, there's a big area of, of ubiqu ubiquitous rain. The rain is <laughs> the rain is very the rain's very ubiquitous down here. Is that better? That's better, right? That makes time it's ever been used in a weather cast. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure it has been at some point. <laughs> uh, anyway, if down towards the Gulf Coast, all, all sorts of rain. You get what I'm saying. And we're going to have to keep an eye on this because this is going to be some kind of tropical system as it looks right now that may spray some moisture in here a week from today. We'll see. But until then, it remains dry. And we could use the rain. We're turning kind of droughty outside. I know that's not a meteorological term, but it has been dry. Some of you haven't seen a good dose of rain in over 21 days. <laughs> So we could certainly use the rain and there's not much of it this week. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast dry through Saturday and then we're dancing around with maybe some tropical moisture Sunday into Monday.